Hi guys, in this video I will do some tests to see what matters more uh, in boot times and the general uh, responsiveness of the system. For this uh, I will uh, overclock this CPU, it's at 2.0 GHz now, I will add another 2 GB of RAM and I will replace the hard drive with an SSD. And for each of these configurations I will uh, note uh, boot racer times and performance test uh, scores to see what uh, changes. So now I will do a test for the stock configuration of this uh, custom built PC. Let me just close this, save it and restart it. And this will give me a boot racer time. And of course I will continue the video when it has started. Ok. Our first uh, time is in. About 45-46 seconds. I will write that uh, in the text uh, document. let's say 45 and uh, now I will do these tests but uh, yeah let me just close this and save of course uh, my windows is in Romanian so you probably will find that pretty annoying I'm sorry uh, this is just uh, it's not both is uh, just a trial sorry about the camera ang angles they kind of suck but yeah what can I do so I'm thinking that at this point uh, the PC is ready to do this so I will basically let it do its thing and continue the video when it is uh, finished and we have a complete score. Ok, our first score is in, 635, we will put that into the, into the, oh, come on, where is my mouse, we will put that into the text file. from uh, points and we will save this and then we will do the first modification upgrading of uh, overclocking of the CPU to 2.7 so uh, yeah let me first just uh, show you, ah, sorry, I should do this uh, every time, this is the configuration at this point, and the hard drive of course the SSD is here and the SATA is there, so yeah, next CPU overclock, reboot time with the overclocked CPU, like I expected, basically it did nothing. <laughs> The, this is just a uh, random difference of half a second or something like that. So I will put this in the text file and then run uh, performance test to see what we get. Ok, the test is finished. Every, uh, the single thing that changed is the frequency of the CPU. Now I will put the CPU back to 2 GHz and put uh, two more gigabytes of RAM in and see what we get with that ok this is what we got with four gigabytes of RAM and two gigahertz uh, CPU a little bit slower it seems the memory doesn't affect uh, the load time too much even if it's doubled so yeah 
we will write that in the text file and do the performance te uh, test next. Next. Next score is in. This is the configuration. And now let's get to the SSD. Running the old SATA hard drive to the uh, new SSD. SSD boot time is in. Here you can see the SSD. The SATA hard drive is not connected. Yeah, a pre pretty big uh, difference. And uh, now I will run the performance test and then overclock the CPU and put back the 2 gigabytes of RAM and see what we can get with uh, the full updates from this uh, PC. We have the performance test score for this configuration 2 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, but with an SSD. We will put this into the text file and then put everything back in the PC, even the overclock, uh, and see what we get there. Okay, we have the boot up time with uh, SSD, more RAM, and uh, overclocked CPU. Seems to be the best uh, so far. I will put this in the file and run performance test. We have the performance test uh, score and we will compare all the results after I show you a quick uh, power on time, not a restart like I did for all the times uh, until now, power on from completely shut down because that is faster than a restart. This is the boot up time on this particular PC from being completely shut down. So let me just show you the spec one more time. And the 64 gigabytes SSD, pretty old SSD, so it's not extremely fast, but it is still way faster than any standard hard drive. And these are the results. We can see that uh, in boot speed the SSD is the clear winner over the hard drive and in points uh, the CPU overclock uh, is the clear winner. So uh, yeah, memory seems not to affect, uh, affect uh, boot up times too much, probably if you have uh, a, a too small memory, too little memory, then it will uh, increase a lot the boot up times, but if you have more than Windows will use uh, in boot up, it doesn't really help anything. Uh, of course it will help uh, running the programs after Windows is on, but not uh, just uh, for these times. and. Uh, yeah, in performance test it does gain, gain, sorry, gain some points, but uh, not very, very much. So yeah, the ideal situation is the last one with everything uh, better. So yeah, what can I say? It's been really fun uh, doing this test and seeing the results, and. Uh, yeah, if you want to see the full upgrade video uh, for this PC and the uh, overclocking video, check out my, my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Ask me what you want in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.